Hey Mitch. I'm making this video for you because you were talking about your looking at the uh, sassafras trees and how small they are where you are. Well, it's kind of late in the year, so I wouldn't use any of these leaves anymore. Um, there's probably nothing wrong with them, but they're starting to turn. But uh, this is one of the sassafras in my backyard. Yeah, as you can see, that's right up there. It's got a fair-sized trunk on it. This is a stand of three sassafras. I have absolutely no clue what this little thing is. At one time, it looks kind of like a fruiting tree of some sort, but it's never had fruit. I'm not sure. Um, no fruits, no nuts on that. About as useless as a tree can be, really. Anyway, back to sassafras. Uh, here we have its next door neighbor. Uh, and he goes up there too. They're good. They're almost as tall as my house, so... And I got a few smaller ones over here. You can see that the, uh, the leaf buds for next year are out. That's going to be fantastic. Um, and then down in here in the undergrowth, we've got all kinds of pitch pine and other things. I'm sure there's got to be some wild rose out there, but here behind my compost pile is a nice little sassafras sapling. I'm going to let that grow up another year or two, harvest the root from that. Ah. Here probably is another sassafras sans uh, leaves. Here's a small sassafras standing right next to an oak. So, here in southern New Jersey, the sassafras aren't aren't tiny, um, but we sure do have a, a lot of uh, saplings and or really more like seedlings in the undergrowth. In this time of year. We're uh, last day of October. Most of the sassafras that's in the undergrowth is in the stick stage without leaves. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you that. And over by the uh, basketball net, that's a beautiful chestnut oak. And the chestnuts off of that last year were absolutely huge. Um, and if that's any indication of winter, the larger the acorn, supposedly, the worse the winter. And I haven't seen any acorns fall off of this tree yet this year. Um, and I don't see any up in here. That's weird. Probably won't see any until they fall off and hit me on the head. I'm not sure how they grow on on the uh, chestnut ac or, uh, chestnut oak. Maybe they grow up higher up in the tree and I just can't see them. But anyway, uh, we have an old one from last year. Uh, that's not even a, it's an old shell. It's empty. Anyway. Looks like it's going to be a harsh winter. So, yes, your sassafras infusion looked really good. I've never done it with the leaves before. I've only done it with the root. So next spring, <clears throat> instead of making filet for gumbo, I think I'll turn some of those leaves into uh, an herbal infusion for drinking. I think that would be really cool because I do love the smell of these. The uh, sassafras leaf is just really wonderful. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that I'm not making a tea out of it right now because this is not um, not as nice smelling as uh, it normally is in the springtime. Anyway, Mitch, I enjoyed your video. Just thought I'd shoot this back at you.